Um, let's uh, let's discuss a little more college football. The Pac-12. Have you seen this story today? You sent it to me. Good gracious. So John Canzano at OregonLive.com, he has been on top of all of the bad stuff that is going on inside the Pac-12 offices with Larry Scott and all of that mess, right? Um, which Michael jumped in and said, we missed you, Chris. And then Terry said, I thought we were trying to work out Gary, not Chris. Can't you see they're risking their lives? Um, so John Canzano comes out with this piece today explaining in detail how the Pac-12 paid the Los Angeles Times $100,000 in 2018 to give them positive press coverage, to write nice stories about them. Now, it is one thing to come out and just buy advertising, right? That's simple stuff. You can advertise the Pac-12 games, the Pac-12 network. You can advertise different things going on with your conference in the L.A. Times. It's one of the biggest store, or biggest uh, newspapers in the country, and yet they paid specifically to have them, you know, fluff them up. It's puff pieces, trying to make them look better because of guys like John Canzano who are digging into the details and figuring out that this is a badly run organization. This conference has been run into the ground by one leadership group. And it's, I'm not going to say it's just Larry Scott. I'm going to say it's all of them that put him in a position of power. $100,000. I wrote an article on the website back when I, back when I did that regularly about the Dan Wolken and whoever the uh, – John Curry, the athletic director at Tennessee, their back-and-forth uh, text exchange that was released through the Freedom of Information Act, all that kind of stuff. Media bias is real, and sometimes it's paid for, and sometimes it's just buddy-buddy, right? It's why you cannot trust almost anything at this point. You have to take everything with a grain of salt. Chris, what did you think about it? So I would like I'd like to actually dig into this. Okay, I don't know I don't know who has the if there is even a, a legal legislative branch to to handle this. I want to know was a check written to the L.A. Times or was a check written to individual journalists? Because if it's individual journalists, I want those names because I I have Dan Wilkins' name. Okay, I now know that he is a worthless piece of shit that I, I will I will never trust ever. Okay, I would like these journalists' names. I want their name so I can know to not follow any. They can be bought. That if you pay them enough money, they will say whatever you want. Okay, that's all I want. With it being $100,000, I assume it went to journalists because $100,000 to the LA Times is really not that much money. I bet that wouldn't buy you a lot of advertising throughout the entire year's worth of their subscription. So, I, you know. I, I don't know that. I'm, I haven't been in the newspaper subscription business before. I have, you know, no idea. I, I would bet that 100K goes more if you're going straight to a journalist, though. Well, here's, I want to know who the checks were written to. Here is, here's the deal. Uh, and I'll read just a short snippet of this article. It says, Most newsrooms fiercely guard against any interference by advertisers with editorial content, any appearance of special treatment in exchange for ad dollars, any whiff of quid pro quo. It's a tenet of journalism that the newsrooms are independent of the advertising departments. That's why word of the Pac-12 deal caused shutters in the LA Times' ranks. The Oregonian Oregon Live has obtained internal communications from both the Pac-12 and the LA Times that reveal new details of the partnership. The Pac-12, which long denied there was a formalized agreement, for the first time now acknowledges it signed a contract to provide quote-unquote advertising revenue to the Times. Uh, uh, so it did go straight to the Times. He said, we interviewed more than a dozen insiders over the last 18 months, including Times President Chris Argentieri and executive editor Norman Perlstein, who reached out early in the investigation expressing a desire to tell his side of the story. Said Perlstein a year ago, don't let the Pac-12 speak for me. Now he is declining comment. He said, emails, memos, and human resources grievance show how the Pac-12 promised special access for the LA Times reporter and how the partnership set off alarm bells inside the news organization. After the agreement was signed, Andrew Walker, a Pac-12 vice president in charge of communications, offered to pave the way for the newly hired reporter, a former Times intern named Blake Richardson. In October 2018, Walker promised Richardson via an email obtained from the conference 
I can make sure you have all the access and info to become the best Pac-12 reporter out there. And then he laid out the blueprint. So what it sounds like from all of the reading that, uh, that I've done on it, it sounds like they basically paid to have their own guy be a part of the L.A. Times team. Yep. Now, but they're also paying the L.A. Times to have good press cover, like good coverage of their conference. This is that, a problem. That's a major so, league problem. So, uh, is Larry got Scott healthy enough to where we can criticize him now? Because yeah. I know that's a thing. Like when he got COVID, you know, we all had to be nice to him. I'm, 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 I'm ready for he's, this guy to be fired again. Yeah, he's. I, I was look. Just because you get sick does not mean all of a sudden that you cannot be criticized for the job no. that you're doing. Like no. he and and, and the, yeah, no, that's everything right. that I've he, heard. He he's, needs he's he fine. needs to be gone. Yeah. He needs to be gone. They need to clean house. They need to shut down those offices in San Francisco. They need to move them to Henderson, out just outside of Las Vegas, substantially cheaper. It's just that this needs to all happen, and it yeah. needs to happen now. He needs he needs to be escorted off property uh, now. Terry on Facebook said, all that money for nothing. Matt Miller said, this pretty much happens everywhere. The media today will do anything for money, or sometimes they just do it for free. Yeah, like if they're needing access, et cetera, right? Well, um, yeah, we know they do it for access, and we know they do it for a lot of things. The the And they do it because they I, just like people, you know? There's well, yeah, I mean, but it's – now that I – that I, I would treat differently. If you have a relationship with someone, but if that relationship is public, then everybody knows that relationship is there. Yeah. Yeah. So, so that's different, but we don't know that a check exchanged hands. Uh, but we do know with the LA times, we heard like we a hundred percent know that. the. No, in this situation we do, but yeah. I'm just talking about in most situations we don't. Agreed. Agreed. I mean, we see it all the time whenever uh, people are writing bad stories about the NFL or, uh, when they're not writing bad stories about the NBA and all that kind of stuff. I mean, obviously, it, it's it's people that want to maintain their access, that want to maintain their credentials, that don't want to be uh, in the crosshairs, right? So, you know, it's, uh, it's a shame. It's sad. Uh, journalistic integrity is, uh, is not found all that often these days, and this is just another example of it. Um, Michael said, these idiots in power in California are a joke. Too much money, too much time. Uh, Terry said, OB Matt puff, <laughs> puffs pieces all the time. Good Lord. Um, Matt Miller said, we're all hoes with our own unique prices. Some are lower than others. And that's that's 100% true. Uh, I mean, I, I'll do just about anything depending upon the price. I mean, I will see. Either way. Uh, Terry said, never be nice. They should have fired him the day he tested positive. Um, Michael said, this is exactly why you can't drink the Kool-Aid. The media couldn't get any more corrupt. That's 100% true. I mean, it's just, it's it's bad. It's all bad. Uh, let's move into some NFL talk. You good with that, Chris? 